location. Enchanting Northeast India. Terrain, waterlogged paddy fields and dense forests with the highest rainfall in the world. Extraordinary conditions, a global pandemic and a nationwide lockdown. Yet, a promise to keep to the people, to bring affordable, reliable and quality 24-7 power. This is the Mega Northeast Region Strengthening Scheme NER2 Power Transmission Project, a beacon of hope and light for one of the most power-starved regions, the Northeast. The real problem is in transporting that last unit of electricity to the most underserved of households, not only in India, but around the world. While there's an abundance in production of power, there's a massive scarcity in the distribution and transmission of power. And that's precisely the problem that Sterlight Power wants to solve. Northeast India is blessed with a pristine bounty of nature. Separated from the rest of India by a narrow strip of land that connects West Bengal to Assam. Each state boasts of a diverse cultural heritage. A region otherwise characterized by abundant natural resources and unparalleled biodiversity. It has remained untouched for the longest time. The needs to have better power supply resulted in a comprehensive scheme for strengthening the transmission and distribution system in the Northeast region. This promises to not only strengthen Northeast India's network, but also to connect this region to the national grid, a step of strategic importance. India is probably going to be amongst the top three nations in the world in terms of adding the most amount of renewable capacity. And the 1.3 billion population of our country will be consuming 50% of their electricity in form of green and renewable power in the next 10 years. This is an amazing, amazing goal set by our Prime Minister. However, in order to produce and consume that amount of renewable energy, you require balancing sources like hydro and gas. The Northeast project has a very important significance for that balancing. Hydro, as we all know, is rich in the northeastern states because of their hills and their rivers. Gas is also available in the offshore and onshore areas of Assam. This amount of electricity needs to get merged into the central Indian grid. NER2 covers three states. Assam, Arunachal Pradesh and Tripura and has several components. The Silchar Missa line in Assam alone spans across a distance of 178 kilometers. Whereas the line from Biswanath Jariali in Assam to Itanagar in Arunachal Pradesh traverses 67 kilometers. A multi-circuit line from Surajmani Nagar and Nipko to PK Bari in Tripura stretches over 100 kilometers to give Tripura its first 400 kV transmission line. Along with two substations, one at Suraj Mani Nagar and another at PK Bari in Tripura. This ambitious project has a total of 11 elements, including two substations and four transmission lines. A total of 1,017 towers were to be erected, spread over a total distance of 356 kilometers. A whopping 3,000 megawatt electricity will be evacuated to provide reliable power to more than 53 million people. However, with a route that runs through regions known to have some of the highest rainfall in the world, challenges were rife. With the rainy season extending from 7 to 8 months, we were left with a working window of only 4 to 5 dry months. Ingenuity and innovation were the needs of the hour. The entire transmission corridor has been constructed to withstand varied wind speeds and seismic activities. The level of uh, uh, engineering and the detailing that goes into this project is very, very crucial. These towers could be 120 tons and with wind speed, there can be immense pressure on the foundations. So those were the engineering solutions which have gone into construction of these, uh, these lines. 
the interstate transmission line faced umpteen geographical hiccups. The initial survey was a laborious one. The hilly terrain and dense vegetation made accessibility a challenge. Tasked with casting the foundation in regions with high water table, innovative solutions needed to be employed. At Borgang and Gohpur, for example, the issue was tackled by adopting a unique methodology. A switch from isolated foundation footings to combined raft foundation footing. This expedited the progress of the project. The altitude posed yet another challenge. Creating approach roads to transport material coupled with constructing the tower's foundation was a Herculean task. These challenges, however, were just the beginning of what was yet to come. Not soon after, we found ourselves in the middle of a global pandemic, the likes of which no one thought they would live to see. COVID-19 led to a strict nationwide lockdown in March 2020, with our project operations still in progress. Widespread panic ensued among laborers. They wanted to leave for their hometowns immediately. The virulent nature of the coronavirus caused more than just this disruption. This insidious threat shrouded the project's activities. All manual methods were called into question, fearing for the safety of the crew. And all the while, the clock was ticking. Action had to be taken and fast. Enter the AS350B3 by Airbus, our winged helper. Sterlite Power was the first company to deploy state-of-the-art aerial technology in the Indian power sector in 2016 for the NRSS-29 transmission corridor in Jammu and Kashmir. In NER2, with this lightweight helicopter, manual head loading methods were mechanized, making movement of construction materials safer and more efficient. The usage of aerial technology eliminated involvement of mules and ensured minimal manpower involvement. These are basically underslung, special category underslung operations wherein uh, uh, we are shifting the, uh, the, trans the transmission project load. So precisely we are uh, uh, mitigating the entire challenges of terrain and vegetation. Starlight has done so much work that if you don't cut the tree, you don't cut the tree, you don't cut the tree, the environment को बचा के काम किया. The entire Arunachal route, spanning 18 kilometers, had to pass through a reserve forest, relatively untouched and inaccessible by road. To ensure that power transmission lines don't come in the way of the flight of various migratory and local birds, bird flight diverters or reflector fittings were installed. Near Hojai in Assam, the transmission corridor intersected traditional elephant corridors. Whereas in Misa, the corridor is near the reserve forest, where these wild majestic animals rule the land. Careful measures were taken to minimize the overall tower footprint and to protect the habitat of these beautiful animals. With this particular project, we have taken care of all the components of sustainable development, whether it is a community, whether it is ecological or economical. I also for a particular thing want to mention that they were quite professional in obtaining all the clearances and they are having very good idea of ecological so that you, uh, the, the, it generated a quick response from our side also. At Sterlight Power, we believe in inclusive growth and making a meaningful impact in and around the communities we operate in. हमारा यहाँ में काफी सारा पब्लिक लोग का रोजी रोटी भी आया तो उसी का त्रोदे हमारा कोई आपका नाइट गार्ड जो लेवर वगैरह तो उसमें इंगेज हो पाया। During the construction of NER2 project, we provided employment to over 10,000 skilled and unskilled people. 
old roads fallen into disrepair were repaired to facilitate transport of material. In the Bagmari Tea Estate, we extended our assistance and provided fully equipped ambulance to help more than 5,000 people in the adjoining villages with the basic medical facility. From conducting multiple livelihood training and skilling programs to providing all possible help to vulnerable communities during the COVID-19 scenario, we have and always will try to bring about positive change for communities. So far, I think they have done an excellent work. The project is being implemented and the company's involvement with other social activities. I think that will be a model for others because a lot of other projects are also coming up in this region. After 48 months, the corridor is now complete and charged. With tremendous local support and collaboration, we have delivered responsibly and sustainably. With this, a new chapter in India's future has begun. Completing yet another project successfully, we at Starlight Power continue living up to our core purpose, empowering humanity by addressing the toughest challenges of energy delivery.